You know, I went to Miramani Elementary School, which is later known for a big sex scandal, but we won't get into that. But I remember when I started kindergarten, I was crazy about girls. I, I mean, I was crazy about girls. And um, I remember all my friends basically said they didn't like girls. So I was like, oh, if they say they don't like girls, then I guess I'm supposed to say I don't like girls. So I was, I guess you can say I was in the closet. Pretending I didn't like girls, knowing full well I was crazy about them. That went all the way through junior high. Okay. Started seventh grade at Edison Junior High. Now it's Edison Middle School. And I'd never forget, me and my boy Shedrick went to seventh grade orientation in the auditorium and we're looking at all these girls we'd never seen before you know came from different elementary schools and Shed said you know what one of these girls here could end up being your girlfriend and I was like oh snap I don't have to pretend I don't like girls anymore so I was out of the closet I had freedom I liked a girl, I could say I liked her, and it was no big deal. So about maybe two, three weeks later, I happened to see a short piece of bow-legged chocolate, and I didn't know who she was. She didn't go to Miramonte. So now, you, when you start middle school, you start meeting people from different elementary schools. So, I made friends from different schools, and I remember I would see her, and I'd ask the guy, Hey man, who is that over there? I don't know. Right then, he wasn't no use to me. I'd ask another one, You know who that is? I don't know. So, I was hanging with one of the guys from my own elementary school, and I asked him who she was. And he said her name, Marie Randall. Marie Randall. She was all I thought about, all I cared about, all I dreamed about. Marie Randall. Well, I mean, it was a big infatuation. I didn't tell too many of my friends about it, but I was just totally in love with Marie Randall. I can remember my mother used to watch a TV show called Beat the Clock. And every now and then, there was a song they used to play when the contestants were doing their thing. And it was like, da-dum, 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 da-dum. Every time I would hear that, I could just imagine me and Marie holding hands walking through the park. One day my mother had said, you know what? I'm sending you to Catholic school. And to me, there were three strikes. I did not want to go to Catholic school. I did three strikes. One, I lived across the street from Edison. So, Logistics, it was just, to me, it didn't make sense for me to go somewhere else, and I lived across the street from the school. Two, one of my boys, Gary, down the street, he went to the Catholic school in question, and he wore a uniform every day. Now, we were poor. My mother couldn't get me all these fancy clothes, but I just could not see wearing a uniform every day. So... That was strike two. Strike three, and it was like 70% of the reason, was Marie Randall. Marie Randall. If I had gone to Catholic school, I wouldn't see her anymore. So 
That was a hell no. So I remember begging my way out of Catholic school and it was mainly because of Marie Randall. Okay, and I'm saying this and I'm thinking back all through the seventh grade, I didn't say a word to her. All through the eighth grade, didn't say a word. All through the ninth grade, didn't say a word. And uh, I remember one day she ditched her fourth period class right before lunch. I hung out in my room, sitting in the back of the class. And I remember being all giddy and happy that she was somewhere close to me. Again, never said a word to her. But this was the woman that I was going to marry. This was the woman that was going to have my kids. Everything. Marie Randall. Marie Randall. Well, I get out to ninth grade and um, I end up going to high school in Louisiana. And of course, there's no Marie Randall. So she wasn't the person I dreamed about. She wasn't the person I cared about, but I did think about her. I finished high school, I started college. Well, it must have been, I'm trying to think. I know I was in college when I would come back to LA for the summer. I would ask about her. I knew she went to high school near LAX area. And you guys might think this is Stockarazzi and all, but no, I call it Intel. And, you know, I knew she went to, I don't know if it's 79th Street Elementary or McKinley. is one of them they called it. The 79th Street School is on McKinley Avenue. So, again, I knew all about her. I come here for the summer, I'm asking questions, and different people knew her. But nobody really knew her whereabouts. So one day, I'm getting ready to go back to school. Went to college in Louisiana, Southeastern Louisiana University. And I went to the bank. I, I know it had something to do with me going back to school. I guess I needed money to get the bus or whatever. Didn't have a credit card. And ATMs weren't so plentiful back in them days. So I'm, you know, standing in line in the bank. I happen to look out and I see a silhouette getting ready to come in the bank. I took a good look and I saw that familiar bow-legged walk. It was Marie Randall. Marie Randall. I was so excited because I was the last person in the line. So when she got in, she was going to have to stand behind me. So this was cool. So I'm, laying, I'm in line like, you know, I wasn't oblivious anything. She gets in line. She stands behind me. I waited a few seconds. I turned around. I'm like, oh, used to go to Edison. She said, yep. And your name was something like uh, Mary or Marion? Yep. And I must have asked her like two or three more questions. And her responses were still like, these little one word answers and I remember thinking like it wasn't supposed to go like this so I gave up the chase I stopped asking questions it was time for me to do my little transaction which I did I walked out the bank and then it just hit me and I'm like ain't this a bitch and that caused me to lose a perfectly good Catholic school education. 
again, this was somebody I thought about, I cared about, I dreamed about. And it didn't go nowhere. And uh, it's dumb. I ain't gonna lie. Even though, you know, between her, my infatuation, and girls that I kind of dealt with in college and stuff like that, there was still always that little a curiosity, I guess, of me and Marie Randall. Well, time goes on, you know, meet guys that you're talking to about the good old days. It turns out I wasn't the only person that was crazy about her, and I didn't know that. And then the clincher, turns out she was only in the light-skinned guys anyway. <laughs>